Oh God, did I break it? Oh no, stop it! What's going on everybody? Z here, welcome back to some more Astroneer. So today, we are looking at something. We did a live stream over on twitch.tv slash the one game. If you guys want to check it out, link down below. Anyways, we did a live stream. We did some testing of some things. So I want to go over kind of what we tested, what we found out, what we got working for us ish. Working ish. It's kind of working. So, uh, yes, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well because that would be awesome. A little bit of robot dance because it's super cool. All right. So, what do we have? Well, <laughs> As you can see, uh, don't mind. Well, okay, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm sorry. All right, so what we got here is my attempt at an auto sorting system using the large resource canisters. So as you can see, we have all of these canisters and actually it works out pretty perfectly because there's, um, I think there's 36. So we can put three per platform and it works pretty good and there's a reason there's three i'm gonna walk through i'm gonna talk you through it we're gonna we're gonna look at this guy now would i build this in a survival series kind of thing i don't know because you got to keep in mind each one of these requires a nano carbon alloy so super super expensive you know what the uh we are in creative mode so yeah if you guys are wondering I'm, we're in creative mode that's how we did this obviously like i didn't go out and get all this stuff like overnight <laughs> that would be insane all right, so let's just briefly go over what's going on here. Now, it looks, it might look complicated, but it's really not. And I wanted to try to play with an auto sorting system that wouldn't require too many arms because I was worried that, because the arms can filter items. So I was thinking initially, we're gonna have to have so many arms, like eventually an arm that sorts everything. You know what I mean? Like an arm for everyone. So we'd have to have 36 arms, just to place it on the stuff but you actually don't have to because of how these canisters work because they will automatically take whatever item as long as it is on here it'll take it and it'll suck it up before one of these arms grabs it so uh we didn't actually have to do that all we had to do was basically get it so that way each arm will move it along essentially making co a, a conveyor system so uh, it'll go from here. This arm will take it so on and so forth boop 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 all the way around and back around like that And once the item hits as soon as it hits the platform that it's part of it will automatically get taken by the uh, the resource canister So, um, it does work. It's it's actually not it's not too bad. So you're gonna be asked I know you're asking about these wires. I already know like comments are gonna be like, oh my gosh There's wires everywhere. What are those for? Don't worry. We're gonna talk about it here shortly. So, uh, for example, let's grab let's see what do we have on here we have diamond graphene uh steel titanium let's let's grab some let's just grab some random bits and bobs uh we're gonna throw them on this guy i'm gonna kind of show you what's going on here so i'm just gonna go through i'm just gonna grab some of these uh because like i don't i we already have everything sorted so i'm not super worried about it uh da -da. we'll do some of those uh, you know what let's get some titanium in here why not might as well all right so we got a rover we have some stuff we've been out drilling doing whatever and we want to get some things going here right absolutely so essentially what we would do is we would drive up to this little guy we would stop right here and this arm this this arm this, this arm should start taking why, why are you not taking this stuff <gasps> why are you not taking this stuff? okay all right so let's just talk about this now there are some bugs obviously with an update this huge this is a gigantic update they've been working on it for a very long time but there are some bugs okay there are some bugs it is what it is um the the arms don't like to run continuously so here let me let me just disconnect that guy let me go ahead and let me turn them all on so as you can see uh essentially this is a a button repeater and it allows you to like connect everything so I have this one button essentially hooked up to every single arm, but we're going to watch this. And eventually what's going to happen is one of these arms is going to kind of glitch out. And what it, what I mean by that is it's going to take an item, place the item, and it's going to come back up to the position, uh, that position right there. And then it won't turn around. So it won't go take another item. Eventually one will do it. 
and there's no like time frame we tried to count items we tried to see if it was like distance related anything like that it, it wasn't we couldn't figure out what's going on so um one of these guys will do it i guarantee it okay we're watching watching i'm trying to watch like five of these things at one time right now uh not seeing it that one over there is not even moving i don't know why okay this is weird because they're all like still going that one's full hold on so if i turn it off turn it back on okay let's go over here so these guys are rocking and rolling doing their thing so by default they should always be facing the area that they are trying to take from if they're empty so like this guy's empty so it should be take it should be facing the platform that it's taking from i don't know what's going on with this guy there's a spot available for it to go here but it doesn't want to do it oh they're giving me the items i don't want the items stop giving me items interesting and this guy's doing the same thing so there are some weird little bugs here and there but as you can see uh things are going around they're getting auto sorted it's it's super amazing it's it's fantastic it's absolutely fantastic but like i said you know this was a huge update this is like a gigantor update so i was 100 100 expecting some bugs also i don't know if these these were like actually meant for these really long runs but um i feel like this is not that long of a run like i feel like this is i feel like it's acceptable so what did we do well because what happens is if i turn them all off turn them all on it resets all of them so they will continue on doing the, with their things doing their stuff so as you remembered uh this one over here kind of froze up right there for some reason this one froze up here but if you turn them off and on it fixes it so we are playing with different methods to automate that because we're like okay how do we automatically turn them off and on at random right um so we tried a couple things we tried to put button repeaters together so essentially we hooked up uh this guy to this guy and then like this guy back to this guy and then we hit this and basically they just they just flash too much they're just constantly going it's it's just too much so what we actually did was we hooked up a platform to a power sensor so it will power gained or power lost every time it gains power or loses power it will send a signal so we hooked that up to the button so every time this wind turbine turns off it'll send a signal every time it turns on it'll send a signal now the only problem with that is that right now they're off no right now they're on because they're all in the upright position uh, so like, yeah, see that guy was sitting this way, facing this way. It was, wasn't grabbing anything. So we lost power. It turned it off. But as soon as this wind turbine turns back on, it's going to gain power. Everything's going to cycle through. So essentially we can just leave it and it will automatically turn them off and on, off and on, off and on, which I, you know, I wish we didn't have to have that. I really wish we didn't have to, but like I said, you know, it's early. This is the, this is the first steps of automation. Automation is not an easy thing. Look at me in my AI lens right there automation is not an easy thing boys and girls it is absolutely not so let's not let's not take it for granted so but that's kind of what we worked out we tried to do some kind of like power swapping thing but the, we kind of ran into the issues where a lot of things were just too fast and here let me i'll just i'll exactly show you what's what happens here so if i put this here um if i grab this guy create segment and i hook it back to this guy and then i uh branch off this guy and play it on this guy this is what's gonna happen i'm gonna hit this button and it did not connect why did you not connect uh yeah all right so it's not even uh it's not even working at all this time oh there you go yeah i don't know doesn't make them any faster just makes them super annoying oh god did i break it oh no stop it okay finally died <laughs> so essentially that's what happens so that's why we don't do it like that uh, because it just it would not work out very well so uh, but yes, the wind turbine seems to be pretty good. It It's faster than a solar panel because we we're like, well, we could do solar panels, but then you'd be stuck with day cycles and these typically stop working before the end of the day. So like this guy right here, um, you know what? Actually, hold on, let's bring her back a little bit. Maybe I think it's just out of the range, honestly. Um, You know what? Why do we even need? Let's just do this. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and just back up to this guy. It might be too close. Okay right there it's off right now because the the wind cycled so as soon as it turns back on it's going to start taking it and it's going to pop it over there but yeah so i mean the system itself isn't that complicated it's literally just platforms with a thing that moves along this side and like i said as soon as it grabs an item from let's see what's where's where does the glass go does glass go on this one nope is this one glass yeah so as you can see it basically it just sucks it up right away so you don't even have to worry about it and that's faster than the uh the arms can move it so as soon as that thing hits it it's gonna it's gonna suck it up it's gonna be good to go so that is a large type auto sorter very large very large uh very expensive 
36 nanocarbon alloys at least <laughs> because each one of these requires a nanocarbon alloy along with other goodies not to mention um everything else is actually super cheap yeah yeah it's just these guys it's the big boys the big boys they're the issues now let's talk about a more realistic auto sorting machine and a much more compact one so like i said we we're streaming and somebody said this and i'm like my gosh that is right that would absolutely 100 percent work so in the event that you wanted to auto sort at your base and you were going to use something like the medium resource canister which is much much cheaper much more uh ideal i guess you could say ideal for early mid even late game honestly like uh like these things those are end game like you've done everything you literally have it all that's end game this is mm, standard game the only problem with this system is that you have to go through and you have to set each item up first so you would be like well how do you have all these items here because these are the these are the, the large storage silos um and this exactly holds 36 in three of those so every single item is sorted uh, if i go ahead and throw this on here it gets sucked up to wherever it's gonna go so it does that works Boop, good to go now i'm not saying this is the best because uh we enable output and it's like okay cool and then disable the output it's gonna suck it back up but if you just put all of these on here if you just throw them all on here without anything in them and you start placing resources down here they will just randomly go wherever so if you throw an iron down it'll go to this one and then you throw another iron down it might go to this one over here so that's why you kind of have to go through and do do them the first time um so that's a super compact auto sorting system ish uh and then if you needed something i mean you could easily see what everything is it's like okay so that's copper tungsten da, da, da. you know what i mean uh and then it's like okay so i need aluminum Boop. let's pull the aluminum one off that's not aluminum that's ceramic okay <laughs> aluminum alloy i mean but then you can pop it off do this let it come out it's like cool all right you know what actually i don't need that anymore so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw it back on there call it a day so i do like this system and this is honestly probably the system that you're going to see me be using uh because it's it's compact it's fairly easy each one of these holds 32 which is pretty good it's a pretty good number um the only thing that i i think the things that we're going to make with our like on our stuff is probably compound and resin might be in a large resource canister maybe iron i don't know we'd have to see um but yeah that's that's kind of like a compact version the not compact version <laughs> it's a lot more difficult and a lot more um just tricky right now just tricky because these arms are they're a little finicky they're a little finicky so i don't understand oh did, did you already did you already take that last oh you did you already took it that one okay hold on well let me let me get this guy in here are you gonna take it now no uh it's gonna have to wait and turn off and turn back on hey there it goes and away it goes it's gonna go down the line where are you gonna go no idea i guess only time will tell so i just wanted to show you guys that because like i thought this was super useful super cool um and it it took us a while to kind of figure things out i had one plan and then i had another plan and then i had another plan and eventually it turned into this and i feel like this is pretty good uh, pretty good now don't mind the true flat stuff because like i said i'm in creative mode so we have uh, true flat capabilities and what's really nice about this true flat stuff is that i could go through and like pull it place all of this stuff right here we could put it into the ground it would look all super neat you wouldn't see any of the cables oh, i love true flat so much why can't you be in survival mode i never play in creative mode i never play creative mode so um yeah oh gosh i mean just look how good that is just just look how uh oh that disconnected hey get back over here it doesn't look like these guys like being buried which i mean i guess is i it's understandable okay all right there we go we're all we're all reattached okay uh but yeah look at the true flat look at how nice these look the platform's set in the ground like this i mean come on tell me that does not look tell me that just doesn't look so nice nice and clean and organized oh i love it i love it so much okay all right but yes um, I just want to show this. So if you guys are, you know, looking at auto sorting systems, trying to get ideas, this is what we kind of came up with during a stream. If you guys have amazing, super amazing auto sorting ideas, uh, leave a comment down below or join the discord and uh, post that sucker. Post a picture in the Astroneer section. Why do you keep doing this? What is your deal? Why? Why? Why do you do this? All right. It's good now. It's good now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you guys have like super cool, amazing ideas, things like that, um head over to the discord hang out we have a chat just for uh for astroneer stuff you can post pictures in there it's all kind of fun stuff i'd love to see your ideas love to see what you guys have 
Um, but that's going to end this episode. I know it's super short, but I want to keep it short in case you guys were searching for like, uh, you know, auto sorting stuff. So hopefully uh, it was a little bit more enticing. But if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We will return with our standard series of Ashenir. Do not worry. Do not fret because it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll be good times. But yes, thank you guys again for coming out. Small auto sorter, large auto sorter. Small, large, small, large. See what we did there? All righty. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.